I'm a foodie. Once we started football season, the reality of, hey, we're going to be in Seattle and we're going to go to the Crab Pot. I've been probably since August 1st or so, something like that, probably anticipating this adventure, this culinary experience. Uh, I, I just can't wait. I can barely wait for the plane to get here, pick us up and take us. And they come along with your crab order and out comes the pot and it just gets dumped across the table on your parchment paper and you're like, and you just tuck in. <laughs> Polly Rell, was, was it everything you hoped it would be? Oh, I am so in a, a state of absolute contentment right now. I am, can we go back again? Can we go back relatively soon? Playing a ranked FBS opponent is everything growing up that you want to do, right? Being able to play a team like Washington really uh, brings that to life. The venue is amazing. Uh, the view is amazing. It's right on the water with the boats coming up to it. It was, it was awesome. I definitely thought that is the coolest stadium I've ever played in my life. You know, we knew it was going to be a big stadium, loud fans, and, you know, that's really what it was. Um, you know, 70,000 people was really exciting to play in front of. Once you get hit in the mouth the first time, somebody, you know, you come off the ball, you hit the old lineman, uh, the stage doesn't really mean as much, or, like, who you're playing doesn't mean as much. It's, uh, it's all football in the end. This was a well-rounded football team with no weaknesses, and we saw some bright spots in the game that we can build upon. Third down and short, Browning flushed out of the pocket, throws on a run, it is picked off, an interception. Hayden Calvin makes the pick, UND football. Browning again, he comes inside, pass is picked off by Hayden Bluepaw. The second interception for the University of North Dakota here today. They keep it on the ground to Santiago. Santiago's got some room and he broke it up in the 30, 35, 40, 45, midfield 50, to the 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, down to the 14 yard line. Santiago just busted one. For our guys, it was an adjustment playing against this football team to see improvement in the second quarter and then early in the third quarter. Those were encouraging signs. These kind of games, they kind of humble you as a team. I mean, um, we had a good game going into the first game against Mississippi Valley, and having a really tough um, top 10 team in the whole country, the next game, it, it, it humbles you, and it makes you really learn and settle down on, uh, on things that you think you don't have to improve on and that you actually need to improve on. So uh, I feel like it helped us as a team and me individually in just a lot of different areas of my game, and I feel like I'm gonna take a lot from it. We're pleased to see our guys play with really good effort and play physical football. You know, 
we can build off that. It was awesome to be able to just play against them and hang, hang with them. Uh, they got heart, they got talent, they play for each other, they play together. Uh, they're here at UND for the right reasons. And uh, I told them after the game, guys, going into my fifth season here, I'm not sure I've ever been more proud of a group of young men. Early in the week, you're always going to be sore. That's the nature of this game. And you got to be tough. You got to be mentally tough. And we talk to our guys about being comfortable when you're a bit uncomfortable. Wow. Shoulders. Yeah. Everything. I'm sore just looking at you. You're moving like an old man. I feel old right now. Just wait. 34. 34 was the age I started feeling it. You're going to be sore. You're going to be tired and you gotta go out and keep preparing and get ready for a really tough opponent on the road once again. Set, go! Shimmy! Yeah, you better get him, come on! Close on him, Ryan! This ain't tag! Set, go! Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy! Ah, hey, you stopped your feet! You, you stopped! Get those feet moving! Set, go! Good! Ooh, ooh, ooh! I wanna see you, hey! Violently, just like a double team, man. I'm throwing that punch down and away. Set, hit. Do it again. Hey, set, hit. Come on, get extension. Do it again. Do it again. This ain't a wall through. Set, hit. You know we're one on one going into week three here, and you only get 11 of these things guaranteed. Sam Houston State's a, a very good, talented football team, and we'll have our hands full for sure. Playing against one of the top teams in the country, it's just something that you want and something that. Um, you look forward to each each week. I would approach it the same way I'd approach Washington. I mean, you just focus on what you can control and uh, doing your job and doing it to the best of your ability. To keep it in perspective, you always got to focus on one day at a time. We put it on our shirts. We put it on our practice schedules day by day. That's how you get ready for this game. You don't look big picture. You got to really focus on the task at hand. It's an opportunity to go out and perform and improve. And if we take care of business the way we need to, the scoreboard will, will take care of itself. Going into this game, we have to we have to make a statement. I mean, being a non, in a non-conference this year and being an independent, these games right here is what make your shot to the playoffs. And I feel like this is what is going to make or break us.